guys, it's Amelia. Happy Wednesday and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another crochet animal tutorial. It's been so cool that people have been really loving the videos and responding and giving me some ideas on some other animals to make videos about. So I was chatting with a lovely viewer with the comments and she requested that I make an otter because she wants to make one for her boyfriend. And I thought that was a really cute idea, really different. I researched some otter patterns for some ideas and there really aren't that many out there so I thought this might be a fun pattern to come up with and I really hope that you all enjoy it and please comment down below if you have any other crocheted animal ideas that you want or things you think I should make because I would love suggestions so this is completely my pattern I'm going to make up this pattern I might use some reference photos from other people's patterns or real otters but this is gonna be totally made up by me and I will tell you step by step how to do it and I'll tell you each step along the way each stitch and everything so even if you've never crocheted before don't worry I will help you through everything so let's just go ahead and get started on the pattern so of course the supplies that you're going to need to make your otter are a crochet hook and I'm going to be using my favorite size, which is G. You'll need a yarn needle to sew the pieces together and sew in all of the loose edges. You'll need your favorite stuffing, yarn, of course, whatever color you want. You could make a blue or a purple or green otter, or you could go ahead and just make a brown one. You'll also need a Megarumi plastic eyes, and I'm also going to be using a plastic nose, and I will link in the description to a similar Amazon product to what I have. So let's go over some crocheting basics, just in case you're new and you're not sure exactly how to start. So how you create a slip knot is you take the yarn and you wrap it around your two fingers and then you push it through the loop that is around your fingers. Then holding the loop, slide your fingers out and grab the tail and then pull to create a slip knot. And then by pulling on this little tail, you can adjust the size of this loop. So that's what we're gonna put our hook in to start. And that's how you start every single piece. So the next step that we're gonna learn is a chain. So a chain is just simply yarning over, taking the yarn onto the hook, and then pulling it through the loop that you already had. And that's a chain. So you can do as many of these as you need to. So the next stitch that we're gonna use is a single crochet. So this is the most basic crochet stitch that I use all the time. So I'll just show you on this little chain that I made. You can see that this looks kind of like a braid and there's three strings, one, two, three. Put your hook underneath of the top two and over top of the bottom one. So that on top of your hook, there's one, two, those strands. Underneath, there's the one. Then you yarn over, pull it through, but instead of pulling it through this loop like we did with the chain, you're gonna yarn over one more time and then pull through both of those loops. And that creates a single crochet stitch. So the first piece that we're gonna make is the head of the otter. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our slip knot like we just did, and then you're going to chain two. Now, a lot of people start their crocheting projects with a magic ring or a circle or something like that, and I've done all those kind of things, but my favorite way to start is just by chaining two and then stitching into the first chain. I know that can be confusing for some people, so I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can begin your project. So the first one is the way that I like to do it. So I've chained two, and now all I'm gonna do is simply put my hook underneath of those two top loops and above that bottom one, just like we talked about, yarn over, and that can be our first stitch. So you'll keep stitching into that chain, and it, sometimes I think it's a little hard to see and that's why people don't like to use it, but you keep stitching into that same chain, and that is how you create your first row. The other option that I like to do is chaining four, and then joining those four chains with a slip stitch. So a slip stitch is virtually just a chain, but in a different way. So you're gonna go back through that first chain that you did, yarn over, pull it through, and then pull it through again. And that is a slip stitch. And this is gonna create a little ring for you to work in, so you can do all your stitches in that ring. And those are both ways that you can do it. I'm just gonna keep going from here. The first row for the otter's head, we're gonna do six single crochets all into this first little hole here. So one single crochet, you go through, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And you're gonna do six of those. When you're done with those six, you're gonna go ahead and pull that tail nice and tight. And this is what your first row is gonna look like. And you can count your stitches by looking at the side. One, two, three, four. 
four, five, six. So now what we're gonna do is an increase row and we're gonna do two single crochets in each stitch around so that we'll turn our six into 12. So this is what the end of your second row is gonna look like. For the third row, we're gonna do an increase row where we add a stitch around. So right now we have 12 and we're gonna go to 18. So we're gonna add six stitches around. So how we do that is we're gonna do one single crochet and then the next stitch is gonna be two single crochets in that stitch so that it goes one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around. So something I like to do at this point, go through the last stitch that I made and take this tail through and that kind of helps me keep track of what row I'm on and also helps me know where to start counting my stitches. So if you get confused with your rows, that's something that I like to do. So this is what the end of row three looks like. And now we're gonna do one more increase row. We're going to do a similar pattern to the last row, but this time we're gonna do single crochet, single crochet, two single crochets. So this time it's gonna be one stitch single crochet, second stitch single crochet, third stitch, the two single crochets. And that's gonna give us 24 stitches and we're gonna do that all the way around. This is the end of row four. And now I'm going to move my little marker up to the last row. For the next four rows, we're just going to do one stitch in each stitch across to create the height for the head. So now this is what the little head looks like. Before we put the eyes in, I'm gonna do one more row. So this row is gonna be a decreasing row. So what I'm gonna do is one single crochet, one single crochet and then something called a decrease stitch so I'll show you how to do that and basically a decrease stitch is the opposite of the increasing rows that we were doing before so you're just gonna turn two stitches into one so you're gonna go through the first one yarn over pull it through go through the next one yarn over pull it through you'll have three loops on your hook you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna pull through all three loops and that basically just made those two stitches into one so you're gonna do that all the way around until you have only eight 18 stitches. So now we're gonna put in the eyes. Pull out our marker, we don't really need it anymore. So I'm thinking of putting the eyes a little bit like this. So these plastic eyes just basically push right in between the stitches. For my eyes, I'm putting them in the one, two, three, four, five. in between row six and seven, and I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five. six stitches in between the eyes. So how you put on the eyes is you just slip them in between the stitches and then you get these little uh, back pieces that come with them and you snap them on and you want to make sure these are really where you want them because you cannot get them out once you put them in so just snaps on and there you go i'm gonna wait to do the nose until later so we're gonna go back to finishing crocheting the head for our next row we're going to do another decrease row where this time we're going to do one single crochet and then one decrease stitch you're gonna do that all the way around until you only have 12 stitches and stuff the head and i like to have my stuffed animals be pretty firm so i add a lot more stuffing than it looks like can fit in just keep adding it until it is stuffed as much as you want for the penultimate row we are going to do decreased crochets all the way around so that these 12 stitches turn into only six and sometimes it's hard to stitch when there's already stuffing in you just got to make sure it looks nice and neat and it's all remaining very nice and tight and that is going to be the last row i think i was going to do one more but we really don't need it because we're going to attach this to the body so that is the head of your little otter so how you tie off is you're just going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into the next stitch and grab some scissors cut the string and pull this out so for the otter's body we're going to start the exact same way as we did for the head with six single crochets and then our second row is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around so 12 and then our third row is going to be an increased row of one single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch so that we have 18 rows all the way around and you'll end up with this and then for the next seven rows you're going to do one stitch in each stitch across to create the length of the body and I'm gonna move my tail to be my marker and get started the body's gonna look like this we're going to be attaching it to the head like this so just go ahead and tie it off next I'm going to use this lighter brown yarn to do the little cheeks of the otter so how you make the little cheeks is just chain two and then do seven double crochet stitches into the second chain from your hook so a double crochet is where you yarn over and then go into the stitch where you yarn over again so that there's an extra loop on your hook and it just creates a bigger stitch now 
Now we're gonna make two arms and two legs for our little otter. I decided to make the arms lie light brown and the legs my dark brown, but you can honestly make them whichever colors you want. You can mix it around, chain two. And in the second chain from hook, you're going to stitch six single crochets. Now you're just gonna continue stitching all the way around for nine rows until you get an arm that looks like this. And when you stuff it, you're gonna sew the end shut by pinching it together and then whip stitching the end closed with the leftover tail and make two of them so you have two nice little arms. To make the two legs, you're gonna go ahead and start with seven single crochets in the second chain from your hook. And then you're gonna keep doing one stitch around for seven rows until you get something like this. And then just like with the arms, you're gonna pinch the sides closed and whip stitch the top together. To make the tail, we're basically just gonna make another leg. So go ahead and use the same pattern you did for the leg to make the tail. So for the little otter ears, all we're gonna do is chain two and then do seven uh, single crochet stitches into the second chain from hook. Then you're gonna get a piece that looks like this. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and fold it in half and then put your needle onto your leftover string and do a few whip stitches here to stitch this together to create a little otter ear. And then you're just gonna use another piece of yarn to attach it onto the head just like this and make two of them. We have all the pieces, so we're gonna start assembling them. And the first thing that we're gonna do is sew the little cheeks onto the face. you can sew on your nose. I actually have a plastic nose that I'm gonna go ahead and use, but if you don't have a plastic nose, you can sew on a nose. But I'm just going to put a little super glue on the end of the nose and put it in between the stitches, hold it down while it glues, and that's how my little nose is gonna look. It actually is looking so cute. So on the body. So I'm basically just gonna position it where I think it looks good. And I'm gonna start, I'm using the leftover yarn from the body and I've put on my yarn needle. And I'm just going to put it in through the head first and then come back and go through the body and then the head. And you can keep it kind of loose at first. So when you're done sewing most of the way around, we're gonna go ahead and stuff the body and then finish stitching all the way around. Tie off your two strings, one from the head and one from the body. forgot to film an outro but thank you so much for watching my video please enjoy this slideshow of adorable otters instead of my face as I say thanks for watching and I hope you all have a great week and come back next Wednesday at 11 a.m. for another video and also if you want to know how to crochet the little red ball that I made for my otter I'll put that pattern in the description see you guys next week bye